Hi, today we're going to take a look at activating your Nomad Factory software using the NF Manual Activation Tool. You can find the tool in the Authorize Your Software folder that downloaded with the installer. And once you find it, double click it. Next thing you're going to do is click Activate New Product. Then after that, you're going to enter your email address. Make sure you use the same email address that you used when you purchased Nomad Factory software online. Confirm your email address. And then you're going to enter your serial number, the one that we sent you after you purchased the product online. Click Next. And now an HTML file has been saved to your desktop. So the first thing you're going to do is actually go to your desktop and you're going to locate the HTML file. It'll have the same first letter as your serial number did. So here mine started with an I, there it is. I'm going to grab that HTML file and copy it over to an external hard drive, flash drive, or CDR. Now that the HTML file is copied over, take your external hard drive and take it to a computer that is connected to the internet and go ahead and open up that hard drive and find the HTML file and double click it to open it. The nomadfactory.com website will pop up. Just click here to download your license file to your desktop. Once you do that, go back to your desktop and locate the file. It'll have a .auth extension on it, or .auth. Grab that file and drag it back onto your external hard drive. There it is now. Now that the authorization file is copied over to your external hard drive, reconnect that to your original computer and find your Nomad Factory activation tool, which should already be open. Click Read Activation File and a window will pop up. Once you're there, click on your external hard drive and find the authorization file and hit Open. From that point, it'll say Congratulations and your software is now authorized and activated. Please make sure to back up a copy of your license files and you can find those files on Windows and Macintosh at the addresses listed below. Once you're ready, hit quit. Now we're going to launch our audio application to make sure the plugins are working, and there it is.